Okay, so quick update on the 400 volt motor. Uh, the gods have listened and Big Clive made a video uh, just like out of the exactly same day, somewhere around the day that I made the video about this one. And he showed how you could rewire a transformer to get more voltage out of it. Um, or actually in his case it was to lower the voltage by a bit. In my case it's um, increased the voltage. So uh, we have Variac. We're going to put this to 230. Yes I could just directly plug this in but I wanted to for testing purposes I just put it on 23 and then measured it and then I could just say yeah that, that's times 10 what comes out of there. Um, <clears throat> so what we are doing here this is a transformer of an old stereo. Power comes in here, 230, 240 volts, and you have two center tapped outputs here. Um, one is, I think, 24 volts, the other is something around 73 volts or something. Um, AC, of course. So I put those two in series and then wired it kind of in series with the, the main thing so we have 240 plus 74 plus 23 something like that so basically plus 100 volts so we have 330 and I confirmed that with the multimeter um, the motor is getting 330 now the speed doesn't change because it's a shaded pole motor but it does have more power so what we're gonna do is crank up the variac to a bit more than 230 I guess so we can get out more than uh, 330 volts, like 350. So let's do that. And we have the motor running. Uh, can almost not block it anymore. That's working. So the motor works. <laughs> uh, it just needs 400 volts to work, and I mean this is just a temporary solution. That's also why I use these uh, these wires for jumping and not the normal ones. But yeah, this is just temporary. It just was about confirming that the motor isn't shot and that it works. But who the hell <laughs> needs uh, has 400 volts? I mean 380. <coughs> And the thing is, I don't have three phase, so I can't just get 380 volts down here. Uh, otherwise, I could just hook the motor up to that if I really needed to. Um, but for now, this is probably going to storage, just like this one, till I can make the table saw and all the other things. Now, additionally to this motor, um, where did I put that thing? There we go. <coughs> this is another one that I got off eBay. That is a 12 volt um, blower motor and yeah it works quite well. I'm not going to run it now because I would have to get rid of all of this. Um, but it works. I will uh, grease the bearings or well, th those are bushings again. I greased those. This is still made in West Germany. Where does it say that? Oh, God. Here made in Western Germany. <coughs> so uh, that comes out of some car. don't know which and I don't really care as long as it works. And it does work and it puts out a lot of air. So yeah, nice. Um, that's working. This came with um, a little heat exchanger. <coughs> which is a very dense uh, cooler, basically. Um, does it also say where this is made? It says France, over here. So, yeah. I don't know if that was actually part of the car or something. Oops, let me just... So that came with it. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna use this for, but uh, I think it was just three more bucks and so I paid for these two 
what was it, I think 9 euros or something. That is including shipping. Um, and then we have another piece of equipment that I also put somewhere around here. Oh, back here. Uh, this is how you were setting different speeds for a motor um, back in the day when you did not have uh, semiconductors. This is a big resistor. Um, doesn't say how much it is. Oh, that's on the other side. Let me just get that out really quick. There we go. Um, it says 0.7 ohms, 1.4 ohms. So this is how you would uh, regulate the speed of the blower for the cabin. You just put a resistor in series. Um, I'm probably not going to use this for anything because I'm just going to hook this up to a PWM controller. Because those are probably cheaper than this at the moment. Um, also this is just wasting power while the other one isn't. Uh, so that's a plus two. So yeah, that's uh, this. Um, meanwhile I won another auction for one euro. Those are actually three motors. Two 100 volt DC motors and one 100 volt AC motor. I don't know why the other one is AC but it probably also runs on DC. Uh, 100 volts, eh, yeah, that, that's a bit of a problem, <laughs> I'm gonna manage, and if not, I can just resell them if they still work. <clears throat> so yeah, that's it for this video, so we know that the motor works, got a new blower, and new gear coming in. Bye!